Hey everyone, welcome to vlog number two. This one's going to be a campus tour and just some of the main differences that I've noticed between UCL and UWA. Uh, just in terms of what the campus is like and my experience at the university. So I'd say the main difference is just the layout of the campus. Uh, UWA is definitely a campus uni and it's big as well. It, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to walk end to end. There's lots of outdoor spaces because the weather's a lot better. So a lot of the departments are spaced out on the campus. There are lots of outdoor paths going between them and lots of green spaces where you can just sit out and enjoy the sun. And I've also noticed that a lot of the cafes will have a face opening outside. So you can get your coffee outside and enjoy the sun, which is just really nice. Also, the uni is really close to the Swan River, which is just on the other side of the road. It's a really lovely place. There are a few cafes and restaurants where you can get some food or a coffee and just relax in the sun. It's a really good break from study. So if you've got a long day at uni, you can just walk across the road and chill out or go for a run. And it's just a nice way to clear your head. And that's something else that I really like about the uni and the city in general, is that everything's fairly close to each other. Uh, the city and the uni are really close and the city in general is very outdoors orientated and like I know this sounds pretty ridiculous if you study in London but it is a normal thing to just go to the beach in the morning before uni, go for a surf or a snorkel or if you've had a long day at uni just to come out and go to the beach for a few hours afterwards. That is totally possible and it's amazing. So my situation is actually a little bit different because I actually used to live here when I was younger so I'm living at home at the moment, seeing my family. But Martina is also from UCL and she's doing the same course as me. And she's staying in one of the colleges uh, really close to UWA. So all of the colleges are actually on the same road and they're, they're really close. They're about a two minute walk from the uni. Yeah, it's good because Perth is one of those places where the public transport is good, but it's not quite as good as it is in London. So if you're staying in college, because um, there's lots of people and, and some people have cars, uh, you, people can always give you a lift to places and you know someone's always keen to, to go to the beach or, or do something cool and you can always jump in with them. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the campus. Uh, what have I been up to? Um, I've just finished exam season, so the past five weeks have been fairly intensive. Uh, so many coursework deadlines, uh, I had five exams. But like I was saying earlier, this is what makes the campus really nice because you can balance all of this out. Say you've got a lot of work, but then you can reward yourself by going to the beach or, or going climbing. Uh, so for example, the other day I, I went cliff climbing on the Swan River and uh, it was just amazing. It was, it was so much fun and um, I'd never done anything like that before. So it's just those, those sort of things that, you know, just um, help break up all those study sessions and, and just make it a lot more fun. And yeah, so if you were to come here, uh, because the terms are the other way around here, uh, you'd do semester two first, uh, and then you'd have your summer break and do semester one. So I've just finished semester two. Uh, they're about 13 weeks long each, and you get one week break in the middle. Uh, you do four units as well, just like UCL. Okay, I, I think I've said everything, so thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.